If you're getting free city compost, here are some tips and some things to consider. Some cities or counties will offer free compost and it's worth checking to see if you can score some free compost in your area. However, there are a few things you'll want to consider when getting or using this kind of compost. The first thing is to bring your own shovel. There may be some available to borrow on site, but it's never a guarantee, so it's best to just bring your own. I also suggest wearing a mask because even though it won't hurt you, it can be steamy or a bit dusty and it could aggravate you while shoveling if you are sensitive. If you don't have a truck bed that you can load the compost into, buckets or garbage bags work well. I had some leftover sandbags from a storm a few years ago that were empty and I actually like using them for compost because they are small and easy to stack into my car and they have some ties on them and I just put them in a bucket to help hold them up so I can shovel compost in easily. When you're shoveling the compost, be on the lookout for things like plastic pieces or glass. Because this is city compost, meaning it's from green waste bin materials collected from the city, sometimes things are erroneously thrown in and they don't get sifted out properly when the compost is being made. Also, be on the lookout for weeds. This compost hub is out in the middle of a field, so weed seeds can fly easily into the pile or come out from the bottom of the pile, or some might not have been broken down enough from people's yards. The compost should be hot enough to kill off any seeds, but sometimes some are strong enough to stay viable to germinate. And as a warning, again, this is created from things people place in their green waste bins. Some things might have been mixed in that shouldn't have been. Some things could have potentially had herbicides on them or other chemicals. And while over time and being processed, those things can denature, some things could still linger. Some city compost facilities are OMRI certified, which means everything is traced from the source of the materials used down to the finished product to ensure its safety. So if it's something that's really a concern to you, you can check for that, or you can choose to use that compost on just landscaping plants and not on anything else edible. But if there is a high enough amount of herbicide in the compost, nothing would really grow in it. So you could take some compost and try to germinate some seeds in it to test it. But again, it's totally a personal choice and decision, but I personally feel it's generally safe to use. When you bring your compost home, let it sit for a few weeks before using it to cure it yourself. The compost might look broken down, but it can be hard to know how fresh it is. At this hub, they fill it up when it starts to get empty, so you never know how long it's been sitting there. And if you get compost that is too hot, that could wreck your plants if you use it too soon. I made that mistake and used some pretty fresh compost in my garden bed, and it burned a lot of my pepper seedlings. But what I got from this batch doesn't feel as hot, so I think this might have been out for a while. But on the other batch that I took from, it was steaming hot. So just to be sure, let it sit out for a while unless you won't be planting anything in that area right away. And of course, nothing beats making your own compost at home so you know exactly what goes in it, but sometimes you need more than what you can produce at one time. So if you can get city compost for free, definitely check it out.